anything new in the weapon shop here, but we'll take a look. We have Forge, Poison Claws, EPs, and a Blossom. Um, I should I should probably buy one, just in case. Just in case, because I think this is my last chance to buy one. Um, it is Wind Elemental, too, so that could be useful against things like... Uh, Wyverns, I think, actually, are weak to it, which makes no sense to me, but General Lymia turned traitor. Why? The other side sure to lose. How dare you, sir? Anything here? Uh, nothing new, looks like. Yeah, I have everything except for the Bard's hat, which, as you can see, is down for everybody that has equipment right now. Let's just continue on. We need to find out what's going on with everything. Is there anything over to the right? There is. This is so industrial, though. I don't like it. I don't like industry in my Final Fantasy. I'm a returner sympathizer. I've heard of you. Wait, what? I distract the soldiers. Climb onto the steel tower from this box and enter the facility. N no! I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready. How are you doing, buddy? No entry. No entry to the Magitech Research Facility. He says the same thing, even though he has a better uniform. And cure! This guy actually does cure you, uh, just for the record. He cures you 1 HP every time. Ah, Sid! So we finally get to meet a Sid in this game. He's a genius. He gave my child the gift of cure magic. He sucks at it, though, like I said. Uh, but you can just do this all day if you messed up with the old lady. I think if you say no, she doesn't give you another opportunity. Or if you do pledge your allegiance, she doesn't give you an opportunity to do that again. She's actually on your side! And here we have the banner. I don't, I don't think we've seen a banner like this in, in a Final Fantasy game before. I love the inclusion of these banners. I love th just that touch there. And if I remember right, this kid, um, he'll actually cure everybody 1 HP regardless if they're fainted or not. So if you have somebody fainted in your party, talk to him. And then you get to see a fainted person with HP. It's weird. Because he doesn't, like, revive them. Your returners! Oh... Crap. We have a Garm and a Commando! We have two Garm and two Commandos. Steal from the Garm! And do damage to everybody. Hit them with your boomerang! And we got a Phoenix down, but we didn't do very much damage to him. Alright, uh, I think it is time to... I don't think... I don't think Kira is going to be good for us. Go Ice! They're not weak to fire, they're weak to Ice, surely. Just, just go all out, really. Uh, Siren Silences, so, mm, not that great. Oh, whoa, I didn't really need to go all out. 242 magic points. Nice. Over a thousand gil. And we just get escorted to the front, apparently. But we get a free heal right here. It's always nice. But before I go in there, let me, let me just go ahead and drop a save outside of town. Okay, all healed and saved. I did change Luke's equipment a little bit here. He is on the Thief Knife once again uh, because of added benefits that the boomerang really doesn't cover. We'll see why in a second. Uh, what we need to do now is obviously follow the guy over here. Do what he said. He'll distract the soldiers. We need to climb onto the steel tower from this box in the facility. Let's go. Make sure you're healed before you do this. The hell are you doing, dude? I I'm gonna be sick. Get out of here. Up, oh, up. Oh, there we go. We you have to be in that spot in order to climb, apparently. And I'm no longer in control. G gonna toss it all. Hey, dude, just point the other way. And we make it past him. Sneaky, sneaky. Estimate the sneakiness. Let's continue on into the back and I think up here. I don't think it's to the right. I think it's up. Yes, it is up. And here we have made it into the Magitech factory and we have this fight again. Uh, but this is technically our first time fighting it out in the world. So we will take care of this the real way. I hope I did the fire dance right. I'm kind of questioning whether or not I did that right. I did. Sweet. Uh, I would not recommend you using uh, any summons here. Of course, Rama will destroy pretty much 
anything in your way here. And as you saw before, we didn't really do that much damage when we tried to steal from these guys. And the reason for that is because they... Oh, float. Very nice. And bolt two also. Very, very nice. The reason for that is that these guys have massive amounts of, massive amounts of physical defense. So, pretty much you want to focus on exclusively magic here. First, you want to head into that pipe there, which will lead you over here where you can find a flame saber. Now, if I remember right, this does increase magic power. Also, better than the trident, so I kind of wasted money on that one, but... Uh, Flame Saber is really good. I'm going to put it on to Glenn for now because it does buff his magic and I'm using his magic more than I'm using Lamia's. Uh, she could also equip it, but really it's going to put, it's going to be more beneficial on Glenn since his magic doesn't require any, any MP, which is always nice. So now let's grab onto this hook over here. We are in a factory after all, so just use our factory know-how. Can I go down there? How do I get down there? There's a chest. I see the chest. I think... How do I get down there? It is down here. I think I want to go... These pipes right here. Yeah, there we go. I just didn't see the exit to... That was what was throwing me off. We can get a tincture out of there. Very useful if you are using a lot of MP, but uh, if you have the Figaro brothers with you, you shouldn't be using that too much. But like I said, the enemies here have a ton of defense. X potion, also very nice. And I think I'm gonna head through this up one here. Oh, that just leads me. Mm. I'll meet you back there. I'll get back where I was. So, pretty much all physical attackers are out. I think it's like 200 battle power that you would need in order to do a good amount of damage. Thunderblade in the chest. And I don't. Oh, it does the same amount, and it raises magic the same. So we'll go ahead and put the Thunder Blade onto Lime, yeah? So it didn't go too long without the upgrade as well. Let's go over here and get ourselves a remedy. And now we can head down here. It does look like there was something up there that I could not get. So let's try to get that. Looks like there are Magitek rooms being made here. And we do have a new enemy, Pipsqueaks. I don't like the sound of these guys. They sound like trouble. Now I think just the fire dance and flash should be enough to pretty much kill anybody here, that combination. Or just one by itself. Jeez, three magic points, I'll take it. We are slowly gaining levels as well. Let's head up here, and I should be able to get that treasure chest in the past room. And proto armor, hooray, a pincer attack. It's just what I wanted. Program 35. And a tech laser. Oh, crap. What? Incorrect my ass. Now, if I remember right, Chainsaw still. Okay. Let's do an aura bolt on. Last one, tech laser, there we go. And we should get some HP back. There we go. That is why I have you around, Lania. To heal off screen and to deal and, and to absorb magic in screen. On screen. Whatever. Get a level for Glenn and continue heading up these stairs here. Through the door. And there's the chest. Can you give me a gold shield? I think that is an upgrade as well. I should be able... Oh, crap, I went in a circle again. So let's head back the way that I came, and... Well, same way that I went before in order to get out of here, which is down this conveyor belt. Now we're back in the room with the Magitek armor, and we can get in more fights. But if we keep going, we can head down here and get in more fights. But over here, we can find a treasure chest with more Dragoon Boots. Don't really need two, but thanks anyways. All right, we need to head down here where there's kind of a secret uh, door with another secret door down here. 
And we can get a gold helmet out of that. Now, once again, I think that is going to be an upgrade from the Mithril Helm. It is magic defense and regular defense. Glenn is becoming a tank. Sure he is. Let's continue on. We can head around here. And then down here where there's only a door. But if I head all the way to the left and then point up, there's a gold armor in there. Guess who that's going on? You guessed it. He's just going to be a tank for me. I probably should be spraying those out, but he's awesome right now for me. So then let's head up here with those gold pieces acquired and get ourselves a tent. Not that I necessarily need it. And it doesn't look like they will let me use the elevator out of here, so it's going to be the long way back. This was weird. Apparently for killing the proto-armor, I got a bioblaster tool which I will sell because I already have one. I just need the one. That is, of course, providing that I remember that they gave me another one. As far as I know, there is no point to having more than one tool. Now, if I remember right, there is a secret passage around here. I have to go up the stairs. One, two, three, four, five, and then over. Is it through here? It is through this pipe here. And this will... If I could figure out where my height is, we can head over here and find ourselves a blizzard sword and a zephyr cape. Uh, the blizzard sword is pretty much the same as the flame saver and the thunder blade, except that it is ice instead of fire or lightning or bolt or whatever it's technically called in this game. And the Zephyr Cape is useless because it's not as good as the White Cape, which I have plenty of if I remember correctly, and it affects primarily Evade, which I have already gone over, is broken in this game. So we could backtrack all the way or we could just head down here. I don't understand how this works, but it does. We fell down and we end up higher than where we were. So, we can head now onto this conveyor belt here, and we can just hang out right alongside the Magitek armor, which does not seem to damage us in any way whatsoever. And it's disappeared. Weird. Oh. Uh oh. Do we know that laugh? We know that laugh, of course. I'm all powerful. <laughs> I'm collecting espers. I'm extracting magic. And uh, I'll restore the statues. What the hell is he talking about? The statues. So this is his Magitech facility. He's powering up by draining espers. Are those espers there? You've been completely drained of your powers. Now you're useless to me. And off they fly. And you take a hike! Those of you that are veterans of Final Fantasy probably recognize those two espers, but they have not told us who they are just yet. Kefka, you are one evil man. One evil clown. So let's head down here. Don't step on the thing to the right. Don't know. It's bad for you. Just because you see it doesn't mean you step on it. So let's head further down and follow the espers. And I think, oh, we could get into a fight against new enemies. We have flans. Of course there are flans. Why wouldn't there be flans? Even though I'm probably supposed to say it flan, but I say flan. Holy crap, these guys have sucky defense. I don't think these guys are tough at all, to be honest with you. I think it doesn't really matter what I do. I will kill them. Down they go. You get 160 experience points for that and one magic point. That is worth it. But with these two espers here waiting for us, that's actually going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I've been Bolo Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by our espionage squad of Glenn, Elvis, Luke, and Limea. When we come back, we'll try to talk to these espers and find out what happens when we do. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. 
Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.